Hi, welcome dear students to sixth video of chapter nine. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today I am going to discuss about alignment of images and creating hyperlinks to web page. Previous class I explained about resizing the image, adding borders to the image and adding a space around an image. Now let us discuss one by one alignment of image. A different type of alignment. First one, align an image to left. First of all, the side down the syntax img shows and here you can set the align is equal to left. So align an image, this code align an image to the left. Right. Another one, we can set the image to the right, align an image to the right just need to write down the align is equal to right, simply. And uh, similarly, you can write down the different align views, left, right, top, bottom, center, and uh, middle. See how you can change the alignment. Simply, you just need to see the maze. Check the default of the ones. Default of the align is the left align. The default. If you just want to change it to the right, like down here, the simply align is equal to double quotes and check check the output so now you can see uh, image is now right aligned it is simple and uh, can simply left is a left the default is the left left and similarly, you can top set the top and bottom. One is the set the top, and uh, one just at the bottom of the slide. Similarly, you can align the image and uh, set the alignment. Sim. Now, if you don't write here the any alignment, will be the left align. You can also run here from run and the launch to from simply you can see the office. another point is creating hyperlinks to web pages hyperlinks so a hyperlink is a piece of text or an image which is linked to another web page so if you click on it the page to which it is linked opens up Simply, you can uh, create a hyperlink. See here, just going to create a for example. I just want to create a so a h r e f is equal to I down here the link where you want to add it. Just like Google dot com, or you can write down the link. HTTPS colon write www dot google dot com within the double quotes and uh, write down the text which appears right here Google Google dot this text will appear and close them. So this simply you can uh, just check the output. This is the simple example of the lunch before. 
So now you can see here the google.com. Once you click over there, you can just re redirect to the google.com. Okay. Now see. So a uh, hyperlink a piece of text or an image. You can also add hyperlink the image also, which is linked to another web page. So if you click on it, the page to which it is linked opens up. Okay. Another point, the most common type of hyperlink is the text hyperlinks that appears underlined on a web page and is usually in a different color. So see here, once you uh, comment type, this is here, you can see, uh, just going to remove here. So now the simple, this is the text hyperlink, simply. And how it looks when you open in the browser, check. See here, this is the underline. You see here the text underline. This is the common. And once you click over there, you, going to open in a so this is the example of the hyperlink now the common type of hyperlink is the text hyperlink this is the example of the text hyperlink and it appears underlined on a web page and is usually in a different color yes so now you can also uh, hyperlink to an image also just I just going to show you how you can hyperlink the image or I just going to remove this uh, like this and I'm just going to paste here the image URL. now you can see image and we have uh, just remove the text and uh, so now see, just run the Chrome, in Chrome, you can see here the only image here, but image is visible here. Once you click over there, and now it is redirected to the google.com. So you just click over there, and it takes a few seconds. So now it is simple. You can also redirect an image once you click over the image, and uh, it's the same thing. You can just anchor tag, anchor tag before the image. Now it works. So the most common type of hyperlink is text hyperlink that appears underlined. Yes, you see the, when you uh, create a hyperlink, it appears underlined on a web page and is usually in a different color. Yes. So now I hope you are able to understand how to create hyperlink. So there are mainly two types of hyperlink. First one is hyperlinks to other pages you know, once you click over there direct to the other page within the current or other website yes it can be uh, other pages to the same website or to the other website this is called external linking and the external linking involves connecting two different web pages yes you can connect you can uh, hyperlinks to other pages like current page or the other website and the another one is the hyperlink to anchor of bookmarks on the same page so a point on a page is bookmarked so that we can have a hyperlink which when pressed takes us to the bookmark so this is called the internal linking and internal linking involves linking parts of the same page sometimes you are just going to for example i just we have a question answer since we you have written the question first and then you, uh, you write the answer of the all the question one two three four five so once you click over the first question it uh, goes to the answer of the question number one so so case we use the anchors hyperlinks and this is called the internal linking so internal linking involves linking parts of the same piece okay. now you can see the anchor tag uh, there is the anchor tag so generally anchor uh, the tag used to produce hyperlink are a open and a close so, and A stands for 
anchor and the anchor a tells where the link should start and closing tag a indicate where the links end so this is a simple example and uh, you can see the e h r e h ref h ref to create a hyperlink we use the h ref attributes of a e tag so what is the h ref h ref stand for hyperlink reference as you see here you can just write down the h ref and the location where you want to redirect so this is the h ref reference for reference and once you click over the image it redirect you to the google doc so this is very simple and hope all of you able to understand thanks for watching the video bye for now